Now it's time for a little bit of double HP mobs with no monkey knowledge over here on In The Loop. So we're gonna head there with Quincy as our hero. And to get things started here, we're gonna place down Quincy right here on this little maple leaf this is and press play. And this is slightly faster than having Quincy over here in the front area of the screen. And I know that's a little bit strange, but Quincy just gets such a low quality look over here. We can go ahead and place down a dart monkey over here towards the front of our screen anyways. Right there. Yes. We're going to upgrade this to long range darts and enhanced eyesight. And then we can come back over here and save up for a monkey sub. It's going to go down and then to the left here. down to the left and the reason we got the enhanced eyesight is so that we don't forget to do it later it also gives us better value from this dart monkey that we're going to set in the front of our screen so that our monkey sub can get value from it we're just trying to make things as simple as possible here Advanced Intel is taking just a little bit. Once we have that, we can also get the twin guns to further increase our speed here. More. Grabbing the twin guns. We can also save up for the airburst starts to get even more popping power and even more speed going. Kind of an interesting map as we see we still have to wait quite a bit for certain things to get to the right places. But it's definitely on the easier side of maps with all of these repeats and multiple looks at everything as it comes around. There's also a lot of towers that are able to take advantage of how strong these loops are. We're going to come back over here and place a ninja monkey in the bottom area of our screen right here. You can see right in between those two maple leaves. We're going to get the ninja discipline give us even more range and just a little bit more popping power and seeking shuriken. We'll be coming back to this later. We're going to come over here and place down an alchemist. It's going to go just below this monkey sub. We see that maple leaf right there. Tasty. Right there. We're going to upgrade this to the acidic mixture dip. And then at this point we can place down our monkey village which is going to go right here in this area. We could really use that buff. We also want this alchemist to be set to strong just in case stuff gets through. Right here. So we're going to go all the way up until red. Right there. You can see we're within range of everything. Getting the bigger radius and the jungle drums. The jungle drums makes the monkey sub attack faster as well as the alchemist gives the buff more often. So it's a pretty good upgrade here. There we go. Now we want to come back over here and get the triple guns and the armor piercing darts.
Our piercing darts are really good. And this first double HP mob is going to be a little bit of a problem for us. But we are going to be able to deal with it. You see there the alchemist not cooperating with us. So be it. We have the armor piercing darts. We can also get the berserker brew. We aren't going to have time to get the stronger stimulant, so we're going to get the stronger acid and the perishing potions to give us a little bit more oomph on this double HP mob. There we go. We got it on our secondary look, which isn't terrible there. We can now come back over here and get a little bit more speed. So we're going to use our necromancer placement. It's going to go left until red, down until red right there. Spamming the bottom path, getting the unpopped army. Once we get the unpopped army, we can go ahead and get the guided magic and the arcane blast. But we're using this necromancer to go fast here. As long as there's not a mob, this is going to do a really good job. We can come back over here and get a secondary monkey sub. It's going to go over here, down until red, to the left until red. Right there looks good. Advanced intel and some armor-piercing darts coming right up. Armor-piercing darts are just really good. Grabbing those. We can also come over here now and get one... Monkey sub for the missile upgrade, just a little bit of a value upgrade there. So longer range advanced intel and then the ballistic missile while setting this to strong. You can see this is a pretty decent job. It's also got the advanced intel for the camo vision. So a lot of value to be had there. We can come back down here and upgrade this to the flash bomb so that we can hold stuff in place in front of this ninja monkey. Now we can come over here and get a monkey ace right here. Upgrade this top path to Operation Dart Storm while also getting the sharper darts. This does a lot of damage to mobs. And considering we're on double HP mobs, why not get it? There we go. And we want to get even more value from that, right? So we're going to come over here and place down an alchemist. Down until red. To the right until red. Right there. And this one we're going to upgrade all the way to the stronger stimulant. Grabbing that, then coming back down and getting the perishing potions as well. And what's better than having one monkey ace doing a ton of damage? Two monkey aces doing a ton of damage. To the right until red, down until red, right there. Upgrading this to the fighter plane, grabbing the sharper darts. And then we're also going to be getting the Operation Dart Storm here. So 
now we have a pretty good setup. Those reinforced mobs were getting onto our screen just a little bit though. And we're having a little trouble cleaning up in the middle. So we're going to come back over here, place down a sniper monkey. Down until red. To the right until red. This time we're going to upgrade the middle path here. So we're going to get shrapnel shot and then fast firing and even faster firing while saving up for the bouncing bullet. The sniper monkey's not very useful until we get bouncing bullet, which is the main drawback of building this. But once we have that, it's going to do a lot of stuff for us here. And anytime stuff gets stacked up, we see we get a lot of pops. But we need just a little bit more value, so now we can come back up here, place down two more monkey subs, left until red, down until red here. Right there, and we should be able to place one more if we're lucky. So we had pretty good placement, we can't place down another one, a little bit of a bummer. But we can go ahead and do one more here, setting that to strong. go ahead and place down one alchemist over here even though it's not the best alchemist right there upgrading this to the stronger stimulant we can also get the perishing potions while we're here set it to strong Stronger stimulant. We can do a quick check down here and see that we're doing pretty okay. Might even say that this is going faster than our magic monkeys only, even with the double HP mobs. Come back over here, grab the stronger stimulant on this other alchemist, and now we have stronger stimulant pretty much on everything all the time here. So that's really good value for us. We come back over here and upgrade the sticky bomb. Because we have some bigger mobs coming our way, right? It's now finally worth it to get this. Especially with the upcoming ZOMG and BFBs. See these mobs are getting onto our map. But they'd pop just a little bit quicker with a sticky bomb on them. We can go ahead and sell this and now come over here and get an alchemist instead. As the ninja monkey does what that dart monkey was doing. We're gonna set this to strong, upgrade this here, and then also get the unstable concoction. This is going to coat the next couple waves of mobs with the unstable concoction, get us just a little bit more popping. We're taking the greatest difficulty of this level and turning it into a weapon for us. There's really not too much else we need to do here. We can place down another monkey ace if we feel like it and save up for the dark storm which we should get just right in time and there we go three operation dark storms making a really pretty map of darts and bombs that's how I like my balloons Even have enough for one more fighter plane. Why not? Another 700 popped. We take that. And we can see here on our double HP mobs run, our monkey star was the monkey sub, which isn't too surprising. It was around for nearly the entire game. 
and was one of the first towers we really invested a lot of money in. And there we have it. Double HP Moabs, no monkey knowledge.